right, we are here live from Brennan's where we're gonna savor a bottle of champagne today. Is that correct? That's what we're supposed to be doing. I'm Ann Maloney with NOLA.com and the Times Picayune, and I'm here with Great Tidwell, the director, the wine director for Brennan's. And she says that she can teach me how to savor a bottle of champagne, which is something I've always wanted to learn to do, but I just love my hands, so I didn't know about <laughs> Right? Take a look I at rely on them. Saber right, right so here. This is the Saber we got this year. Uh, we started the New Orleans uh, sector of the Confrerie de Sabrador. And this is the official Saber they gave us from the Confrerie. Um, they're located in LA and uh, they were nice enough to come and induct us as the New Orleans chapter oh. of Sabres. Yeah, so I have an official card and I'm a Chevalier de Sabrador. So I am officially able to teach you how to say her. Okay. Yeah. And so what is this little baby knife you gave me? So this is for, this is the beginners. <laughs> the the, <saber laughs> the beginner beginners. Saber. <laughs> This is a really lightweight, easy to use saber that we bought. It's a Japanese uh, producer and mm -hmm. it's for specifically sabering wine. So what's important to remember when you saber is you're really just touching on a point on the bottle that it breaks off. Um, so you don't need anything sharp. You're not hacking it off or anything okay. like that. It's about kind of pressure and angle. So okay. it's not about kind of cutting. So you won't lose any hands okay. today. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> she was worried all today. <laughs> Anne was talking about how she was going to lose a hand. And you all yeah. do this every yeah every Friday. Every Friday. So we do this every Friday, and I tell the story. This we do it on uh, Fridays to kind of usher in the weekend. We do it at five o'clock. Uh, but the story goes that um, the Vuitico was very good friends with Napoleon Bonaparte. And Napoleon would go to her house and uh, they would hang out when he was on rest from traveling around France and, and warring with people, um, conquering France. He would come with his troops and they would stay at her house for a few days and rest and relax and champagne. So when they would leave, she would give them all bottles of champagne to remember her by or to drink or whatever. And they would take out their sabers on their horses and pop off the top as a salute to her. And they would drink the champagne as they galloped into the sunset or something very romantic. Like that. <laughs> but that's how sabering came about. Yeah. So I'll take it, get my Honda Civic and drive it. <laughs> <laughs> with your bottle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So what? tell me, before yeah. we start, just tell me sort of what I should know. Okay. okay, so you want to start with a cold bottle of champagne. Okay. Um, you don't want to savor anything warm. Uh, the Confrerie, as a matter of fact, I think recommends like 30, 35 degrees, okay. between 30 and 35 degrees, which basically means you want to put it in a cooler or an ice bucket with water and make sure it's packed all the way up to the top. Okay. Okay, the second thing you want to do is take the foil off of the champagne. Okay. Okay. The last thing we're going to do, which I'm going to show, is you want to loosen the cage okay. and then re-tighten it up around the cork. So it's not on kind of the lip of right. the bottle. You're going to move it up. Okay. All right? And all that's right. that's kind of all you need to do to start. Okay. All right? All right. Are you ready, Anne? Yeah. All right. The sure. peanut the gallery bottle. is ready. These turtles are ready right. to witness you. <laughs> the bottle and I'll go ahead and show you we're gonna loosen the cage now I'm gonna try to keep my finger on it because on these hot hot days they have a tendency to sort of pop off ah. so I'm gonna keep my finger on it I see so you, you I just retightened it around the cork I don't know if you can see that yeah gotcha yep so I'm off leaving the lip. the lip available for Anne to pop off basically okay, okay. Now, I've seen on YouTube, and you can look at this on YouTube, you can pretty much saber with anything. I've seen people use shoes, like, you okay. know, wa wrist watches, okay. anything. It's really silly. So anyway, that's a good thing to, to kind of learn too. All right, so Anne, what you're gonna do is find the edge of the glass there. Now that's where the two pieces of glass oh, I see. Yeah. were melded Join. together uh -huh. mm -hmm, to form the bottle. So you're gonna wanna hit the lip right up there at that pressure point because yeah. mm -hmm. that's hitting the glass. they're hitting the glass because that's where it's most likely to pop off okay okay is that pressure point all right so what you're gonna do yeah is you're gonna take your saber you're right-handed I'm right-handed perfect you're gonna slide and you're gonna want to try to hit right there on okay. the lip okay as hard as you can all right and okay. you're gonna want to hold it from the bottom okay can I let go of that? yeah all right let go of that and you're gonna go right How hard there do I hit it um, medium. <laughs> <laughs> right, you ready? So should I shoot it toward these turtles? Shoot it toward the turtles. <laughs> they are used to me doing it. One, two, three. Oh! 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 <laughs> Great job, Anne. 
Dad, you nice nailed it. Job. We got some glasses so ready over here for you. Some glasses. <laughs> See, wasn't hard at all, was no. it? No. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> See, now this is something fun to do to Whoa, impress your friends. Yeah. That's all right. It'll probably rain out here in a minute anyway. Right, I know. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it? Oh! So it's okay to <laughs> knock, the, you knock, knock the top right off. I did not And because that. of the velocity yeah, of the glass, right uh -huh. yeah, because, because of the chip. velocity of the glass, it won't chip into your bottle. Oh. Okay? So you don't have to worry about drinking glass or anything like that. It all kind of shoots that way. Well, now I physics. want one of these. I know, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how expensive it was. I wasn't here when we purchased it. It's been here as long as I have, that saver. So, uh, let's just say today yeah. is the, um, uh, the eve yes. of your New Orleans Wine and Food Experience dinner. Yes. So, what, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. So, we're working with Grand Cru Selections. We actually worked with them last year. Mm -hmm. They're an amazing importing group out of New York City. Okay. And Jay Latham is the name of the sommelier that has come down. This is his second year with us. And he'll be down, um, which will be great. And we're basically doing, I wanted to do a little, like, speaking of champagne, I wanted to do all champagne. Mm -hmm. But then I was a little worried because a lot of champagne can be a little rough on the stomach and right. everything else. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to do three champagnes and two still wines. Okay. And it's uh, five courses, and it's uh, going to be mostly champagne, so I'm really excited and about that. That's tomorrow night at 7. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. And are you still have uh, We you do. Still have we seats? have about five seats available, okay. so and if so, you want to reserve a so spot. If you're not familiar with it now, mm -hmm. the New Orleans Wine and Food Experience ha starts tomorrow, and they have wine dinners Wednesday night, then the Royal Street Stroll, and then the Grand Tastings, and brunches on Sunday, so this is one of the events. Yeah. And they're all over the city at different restaurants, like 26 restaurants. Yeah, so. everybody's got a little wine dinner, so, so we're well, excited. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you, this is amazing. 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 Am